<laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that bit of intro from Joel there, it was nice. I'm on, I'm on. Hello, welcome. 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 Hello, Joel. Hello. <laughs> Lazy Sunday. Lazy Sunday. Lazy Sunday and not usually my time for scoping. I usually scope around half past two. So my name is Indra, silent-noom.co.uk. With me, hi, Laura. And thank you for sharing. Hello, Joel. Hello. Sat next to me here. Oh, yeah. We're being a bit lazy today. And I wasn't actually going to scope today. I just thought, oh, I won't. But then I thought, you know what? It's very rare that I can actually get somebody to hold my phone while I show show a few yoga moves and as it's bud noon and we're heading towards full moon very very soon i thought i'd show you a few strength building positions just a couple just a couple for this lazy sunday how is everybody today hi wonderful to see you on sunday yeah i, d I mean i don't often scope it's usually usually i miss monday um usually I miss sunday or saturday out but i think maybe i might be missing tomorrow out because i'll be traveling a little bit so isn't this treat stunning a kind of pine we reckon. Really, really lovely, lovely, lovely tree. So I'm going to pass, the, it's going to be quite a short scope. I just wanted to share some strength building positions, as I said earlier, for, for this point in the moon cycle where we need a little bit of strength to get us towards the time of full moon. So isn't this a nice view? And the sky is so beautifully blue today. It's yummy, yummy, yummy. So I'm going to give the phone to Joel. Oh, come you come off that thing. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, I'll let you deal with it. <laughs> you can tell it's a really lazy day today. <laughs> Being in the bow room. Scratch your nose. Are you going to do it there? Do you want to do it there? Yeah, if you do it there, you've got the nose. Oh yeah, so I'm here. Oh, yeah, under, there, the tree. Yeah, under the tree. Come now on. the ground is very spiky. To be your own, a little bit of your own warm up, so for these positions. So, a few some salutations, a bit of stretching. Um, I don't need to do that for you today. So I want to keep the scope nice and nice and short. So, we're going to have the feet just about the hip width apart. You're going to take the arms up on a deep breath in. You're going to link the fingers, turn the palms to the sky, and just come up onto the balls of your feet. And just give yourself a long stretch, which is a really nice thing to do um, for the morning time as well. Take a deep breath in, stretch a bit more through the nose. And as you exhale, let go with the sigh and then just let the heels drop down. And again, breathing in and stretching. Give yourself a smile. Hold it there. If you've got really good balance, you might even want to close your eyes. And as you exhale, let go. And then open the feet just a bit more. Take a deep breath in and lengthen. Pull those thighs gently upwards. Draw up Muller Bandha if you know the pelvic lock. And as you exhale, you know, gently bend yourself to the right, turn and look underneath the left armpit. Then inhale, lengthen upwards, reaching for the sky. And then exhale, gently go the opposite way, looking underneath the right armpit. You just do that a few times just to lengthen the sides of the body. Inhaling to centre. And then exhaling to the right, looking up to the left side. Inhaling to centre. And then exhaling to the left. And then bringing the hands together on the inhale. And then to the heart. It's quite uneven the ground, so I might be a bit wobbly. Okay, so we're going to do plank pose, both forward and back plank. So it's got no mat, so it's kind of. Um, Prickly grass right now. So we're going to start in cat cow position to warm up the spine. Have the feet the hip width apart and the hands are shoulder width apart. And if you've got arms like me that tend to twist like this and a double jointed arms, just make sure the inside of the elbows are facing inwards. A lot of people have these weird arms. So we're going to inhale, tilt the elbow neck and head to the sky. And as you exhale, arch the spine, draw the belly in.
honest. I just like it. <laughs> We're all of it. Be honest. Make sure that you're pressing down at the base of your index finger. Stretch back your left leg, toes turned under, and your right leg, have your feet a hip width apart, have your elbows tucked in, uh, your insides of your arms facing each other, and you're gonna hold it there in plank pose. So to do plank pose, just make sure that you're not dropping into the lower spine, because that can really have put pressure on your lower back. You need to be in a position where you're not in downward dog, but you're halfway between here, and here, you might, it's best if you get yourself a mirror and you just check, I can't see myself really, but I'm guessing. Looking good. But I'm looking good. Okay, so if you know the pelvic lock, drawing up on Wollabanda, the pelvic floor, squeezing, squeezing your center nice and gently so that you can still breathe, so there's not that much tension that you can't breathe, but there's enough tension there to keep the abdominal center strong and the lower spine strong. Keep the chin towards the chest, breathe in through the nose, will help to strengthen the upper body and also the lower spine keeping the navel center strong okay when you've completed put the knees on the floor keep your hands where they are put your feet flat behind you and just stretch your buttocks back to your heels coming into a swan pose and letting the head drop and that's a lovely lovely stretch on the whole spine let yourself sink there for a few moments Very slowly, one birth through at a time, resting your hands on your thighs and just rest there. If you, if you get quite lightheaded, sometimes it's nice to, instead of having the head directly on the floor, it's kind of nice sometimes just to put your forehead on your, your fists, one fist on top of each other. And that can help when you come up slowly just to stop you feeling lightheaded if you're prone to that so then waiting just for a few moments and just allow yourself to breathe deeply in through the nose and allowing the belly to expand outwards and breathing out gently through the nose and just let the belly relax and for those of you that um, are interested in meditation I do a meditation on Periscope every Wednesday at half past two so I usually it's usually about 20 minutes to half an hour long so it's always there either on the replays are on YouTube at Silent Moon Imaginarium, so you can check out the meditations there too that I do. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to do backward plank. So we're going to have the. I'm, I like to have my fingers forward because I have um, very twisty elbows, and you, you put too much pressure on your elbows when you've got elbows that twist like mine. Um, it can damage the joints. So in this position, although maybe more comfortable, um, it puts a lot of pressure on the joint. So I turn mine inwards with the fingers forward, so I don't overstretch my elbows. So from there, just have the hands slightly back from the buttocks, take a deep breath in, stretch all the way up, bring the hips to the sky, point the toes away. If you, your neck's okay, don't have any problems with your neck, you can drop your head back and look up to the sky, closing your eyes, breathing deeply in through the nose, expand the belly, and breathing out through the nose, let the belly relax and contract. If there's problem with problems with the neck, then please don't put the head back. Keep the chin tucked into the chest and breathe the sound of Ujjayi breath. If you know the sound of Ujjayi breath, it's a soft snoring sound created at the back of the throat. Point the toes away and hold it there. Keep the hips up to the sky. This is very easy to do this as well. So lots of strength in your center and lots of strength in the arm muscles as well and the joints. Deeply. And again, this will really help the upper body also the buttocks, strengthen the buttocks too, which you all need. Again, start with 30 seconds or even less, and then gently work up to three minutes, and you'll see the difference in the 